It's 1.8 mil just for the freaking engine upgrade. Holy. Welcome back everybody to another driving simulator video today on the channel. You guys have asked for this non-stop and with your help I was able to get into a special little program that driving simulator does. If you guys haven't heard about it, essentially if you're like a YouTuber, content creator, a streamer, essentially any of that stuff, they will hook you up with some great things. It's a part of a program that they do now uh, to help make better videos and I wanted to go ahead and when they asked me what car do I want, of course of course, I had to ask them for the best car in the game. What else do you ask for when they say they're gonna give you a free car? So either way, we have for you guys today the best vehicle in the game. I also acquired two mil uh, so that I can completely, hopefully, max out that new car. So not only, ladies and gentlemen, do we have the best car and most expensive car in the game, we also have the ability to totally max it out. Of course, this wouldn't be possible without the developers and you guys helping me get into to this program so thank you very much you guys I couldn't have done this without you so without further ado let me show you guys this car let me show you guys what it can do and let's go ahead and max it out. Okay, so you guys remember this Vulcan, right? I grinded my butt off for this car. I do still like it. It's a little bit of a wild animal when it comes to driving it. It is definitely not the easiest car. It's absolutely gorgeous though. We're gonna come back to it eventually, but today we have guys in my collection, the uh, Boreal Aura or Aroya or something. I can't pronounce that word. It is too difficult. But this car, ladies and gentlemen, is $10 million. It is, of course, a Bugatti Lavatoire Noir, which somehow is easier to pronounce than the name that this game has given it. So I'm just going to call it the Bugatti Lavatoire Noir. It's easier to say for me. I don't know why, um, but let me show you guys the stats of this vehicle. So looking at the Bugatti Lavatoire Noir, it has a top speed of 310 miles an hour, a 0 to 60 in 2.3 seconds, 80% handling, 83% braking, all around an incredible vehicle that definitely beats out any of my other cars. This thing is a monster. Let's actually just go ahead and spawn this first. I just want to get an idea of what it feels like to drive. I don't even know what this kind of car drives drives like. And of course, don't you want to know what this car actually feels like stock before going ahead and maxing it out? I feel like you kind of, you owe it to the car to see what it can do. So first attempt actually even in this car, I'm going to go right into a downtown race. Let's just see how it does completely stock. Again, never used it. I have no practice in it. I haven't even played driving simulator in like a week. So let's just jump into this. Does nobody want to challenge the Bugatti Lavatoire Noir? This is the only time I've ever seen the downtown race like almost completely empty. I swear this car, when people see it, they're just like, nah. Nah, I don't really want to race him. Nah, it's good. Anyways, we're diving into this one, guys. Let's see how we do. Our competition isn't too challenging, so I think we're going to kind of just beat our own time. This thing is freaking fast. Okay, I, uh, I already made one mistake, but let's see if speed alone can make up for that mistake. Because as you guys know, the downtown race, and basically any race in this game, if you make a mistake, you're probably going to get second place, if not worse. This car is so fast that even if you make mistakes, it's like, nah, don't worry, I got you. I'll just go really fast and we'll still stay in first place. Honestly, if I was in any other car, chances are pretty high that these two mistakes I've made now would probably result in a loss, if I'm being honest with you. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and still probably win this one with a decent reasonable time here um oh jesus oh no right before the finish line okay if i didn't hit that palm tree in the end i probably would have got 57 um which i mean considering this thing is bone stock and i have no experience with it 57 seconds seems pretty pretty good. Now before we go ahead and entirely max this vehicle out, I'm very curious to see what it can do on the highway race. Of course, this is the perfect environment for this car. It is insanely fast, it accelerates fast, it handles well, and its top speed can't be matched. So obviously this is probably going to be the best place for the car. Let's see how it does and then we're going to go ahead and modify it. One of my favorite things about driving simulator is that you can test other people's cars. 
I can hop out and then we can switch vehicles He could try my car and I can try his so it's pretty impressive that that is something you can do I wish every racing game did that I just think it's fair so that all players can get a chance on a car Especially before they spend a lot of time grinding for it now. This is much better competition We have a Senna we have a Chiron we have a GTR a couple of other pretty mid-tier cars This should be pretty good. Let's see how we do I should definitely be able to win uh, unless that Chiron is maxed out then that would probably beat me but look at this thing's top speed 380 400 keep in mind this is of course kilometers per hour not miles per hour so this thing is insane and that Chiron by the way just blazed around that corner okay I did not expect that I'm not used to driving fast cars like this okay this thing goes 500 kilometers an hour okay that is insanity this guy, by the way, he knows what he's doing. He's got 9,800 miles driven in this game. He's beating me by a long shot um, in terms of experience, but it seems like money and uh, just overall car is really all it takes to get first place. Well, it seems like the Lavatoire Noir, even stock, is still a great vehicle until the driver like me crashes into a wall and ruins it. Um, but still looks like we might get first place here. Come on. Oh, are you kidding me? If I didn't smash, he beat me by 0 .08 seconds. Well done, man. GG. Let me just say GG. That was a good race. Uh, he definitely knows how to do it better than I do. And I haven't really played this game in a while. But that's enough talking. Let's get into the customization. The first thing I want to do is make this thing white. I think it looks really, really nice and white with a really good secondary color. I don't know if red really works. I wish it did. Um, but with a really nice secondary color, I think this will look really good. Gray is okay. Oh, geez, this is tough now. This is hard, honestly. I don't know how I want to make this thing look anymore. I think this looks pretty cool. Let's do this. This is kind of interesting. But that's enough about the cosmetics. Let's move on to performance. Dudes, this is gonna cost a fortune. Just the race engine alone costs 1.87 mil. I, uh, I might have not realized this. I can't max this car out. This is going to cost an absolute fortune. Oh god, okay, we're gonna have to find a balance here. I can't max it out. It's going to cost me literally probably 10 mil to max this thing entirely out. It's just not reasonable. It's just not reasonable. Let's see what we can do here. I really want the maxed out engine so that I never have to upgrade it again. I think we should go with it. Oh god, it's 1.8 mil just for the freaking engine upgrade. Holy, but we have to do it for the video. 1.8 mil spent. Um, we have nothing left. Okay, we can't buy anything. Not even tires, not even brakes. Oh god, okay, this is what we went with, we've committed to it, we have the best engine possible for this car now, which is a good step in the right direction. Um, I- wow, I spent a fortune, holy crud. You know how long it takes to make two mil in this game? It takes forever. I made some style changes to this car, what do you guys think of it now? I think it looks much better, it's in kind of a, a metal-y chrome color. Um, it looks great. I really like this. You know what? Let me see if I crank up the gloss all the way. What does this do for the look of the car? Okay, that's it. That's the look I want to go for right now. Holy crud, dude, that looks nice. This purple, though, this purple and black he's got going on, also a really nice look. You can also make the car look gold. I think that that's not a bad idea either. It's just kind of hard to find the exact color that you're looking for. That's too much. Uh... Jeez, this is tough. I want to make it gold. I think gold would look really nice. Secondary, let's go with the gold as well. Okay, what does this look like? Okay, that's kind of cool. I like this. I don't know if I can say that this car is fully maxed out, but with the maxed out engine, that's the most expensive thing that it seems like you would buy. So I'm pretty happy with this. I think that this is basically maxed out. Now let's see if our maxed golden Bugatti can win in the highway race. Let's not make any mistakes, shall we? That's one of the things I need to get better at, is not making mistakes. I know there's a way you can hit this corner really, really fast without doing what I just did there, and that totally screwed me up now. Oh god, that guy just crashed too. This is the unfortunate thing. You have such a fast car that making mistakes is so easy now. 
We could improve the handling next, and I think that that would fix a lot of the issue, but just stock handling, this thing, 500 kilometers an hour, you can't expect it to turn very well, okay? That's... That's freaking fast around a corner. So if you expect to be able to hit that and still go like a 90 degree bend, you're insane. It's just not possible. Let's see if we can catch up to the Chiron though. Dude, we are getting absolutely destroyed right now by other cars. Oh my god, dude, no! Oh my god, how do you hit these corners? I need better brakes, I think. We're gonna do a better video when I've actually gotten better with it, but for now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the best, most expensive car in the game. Shoutouts to the owners for hooking me up with it, and again, if you guys want to see more Driving Simulator, just leave a big thumbs up, let me know, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.